The Penguin. Final episode. Man, this this was a good, good show. Um, I, I, <clears throat> I'm tempted to call it great. This was, you know what? This was Gotham on 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 nitrous oxide. This was Gotham with an injection of oomph. They, I, I, I almost forget that it was on Max because of the uh, the profanity, which is needed. It's needed. Um, the ultraviolence, which makes sense. I mean, it's Gotham, right? I mean, so who is, who? What? What worst place? You know, maybe Bloodhaven, but Gotham, baby. So. Last episode, the previous episode, Sophia has Oz's mom, and he's going to give, she's going to give Oz's mom the whack unless Oz shows up. Um, but they catch him. They end up catching Oz, and <clears throat> before Oz is captured, Sophia tries to to destroy his stuff. Um, she's done, uh, apparently done with criminal life, so she don't care about the drugs no more. She don't care about the money, she don't care about the houses. She just wants to get out of here. But she also wants to dead Oz. So she blows up the underground um, drug house that he's got. He escapes. She has someone bring him there. But she tortures him mentally to the point that he, 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 you know, I mean, this is what torture does. He snaps. And she tortures his mom mentally uh, to the point that the mom turns on Oz. You, you could kind of see that coming. You could kind of see that coming. This episode, they show. Um, what happened with Oz and his brothers and how he may or may not have intentionally killed them from his mother's perspective. And so you're watching it and you're like, okay, all right. She's nuts. But she's been nuts for a long time. And it looks like it, she may have gone crazy, Oz's mom, because she knew the whole time that Oz either intentionally killed his brothers or knew that they were dying and left them to die just so he could have more time with his mom which is nuts to me um, some people get attached to people that they probably shouldn't be attached to and it's weird to others and this I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like dude that's your mom you're weird what's going on but he loved his mom too much, I think. Too much. Even his mom thought so. Because she told him, I had enough love for all three of you. You didn't have to kill your brothers. But in his mind, yeah, I kind of did. And Sophia remarks, you've been a monster your whole life. And it's kind of true. I mean, we're watching this show. And essentially, we're watching it from the Penguin's perspective. Every really good villain thinks that they're doing something that's necessary or something that's right. They're the only ones that understand it the way they understand it. Thanos thought he was right. Killmonger thought he was right. The Penguin, he's pretty sure he's doing the right thing. He's doing it for his ma. And, yeah, but he's crazy. He's just, I mean, one of the big things about comic books is the uh, rogues gallery, your villains. <clears throat> you can tell how good a hero is by how good his, his rogues gallery. Spider-Man has arguably the best rogues gallery, unless you consider Batman. Batman and Spider-Man, Batman and Spider-Man, Spider-Man and Batman. 
similar rogues galleries, similar powers, similar villains, an enormous rogues gallery, both of them. The difference being, when Spider-Man beats the brakes off of one of his villains, they go to Ravencroft, they go to the, 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 the prison. When Batman beats the brakes off of one of his villains, they go to an insane asylum. All of Batman's villains, the Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin, all of them, they're crazy. Batman is crazy too. A traumatic event happened to him when he was eight. When he's in his 50s and 60s, that, it still affects him. He's still punching people in the face and throwing batarangs at him. You know, running up and down the street with a cape on. That dude's nuts. His villains are nuts too. Brings us back to the Penguin. The Penguin is insane. But we're seeing the whole episode, the whole season, through his eyes. And we fall into that insanity because we're like, yeah, 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 you, you probably should kill Sophia. You shouldn't be out there killing people, man. But watching the show, you start to see it the way he does. But at the last episode, it reminds you, oh, oh, that, I, that dude was crazy the whole time. I forgot. I forgot. Thank you for bringing me back. That dude was crazy. He mixed his red and his blue pills. Penguin's crazy. He's insane. And like Sophia said, you've been a monster your whole life. Sophia, who has been called the hangman, who has killed people. She killed her entire immediate family. She's a murderer, murderer. And she looked at him and called him a monster. Game recognized game. She said, hey, 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 you're, you're nuts. And it's true. He killed his, his brothers. He locked them in those tunnels. And he knew they couldn't get out because the lock was on the other side of the door. They had no way to escape. When he left and saw the rain rising in the city, he knew that there was no way that they could get out. And instead of telling his mom, that fool got comfortable and watched a movie with her and fell asleep in her lap. He was okay with killing his brothers because he figured he'd get just a little bit more time with his mom. Crazy. Deranged. So, Sophia tries to torture him. She brings that past pain out of his mom. She's not completely right in the head through the whole show. But she gets a moment of clarity, and she attacks Oz. She's like, I'm going to kill you to death. And even with that, even with her attacking him and stabbing Oz, he's tied to a chair. He can't defend himself. She stabs him, hoping that it will kill him. He looks at her and says, it's not you. It's the, it's the medication. You're sick. It's your mind. I thought two things when that happened. One, he is, he is fighting reality. He doesn't care that she might kill him. He just wants to keep his reality in that insane bubble. My mother loves me. I love my mom. This is a great relationship. You know, she's the only person that was ever there for me. She stabbed me. Yeah, that don't matter. Because he's crazy. Or maybe something different did happen. Because we saw it through Oz's eyes. Maybe he didn't mean to kill his brothers. Maybe he didn't kill his brothers. Maybe something different happened. Because he was animate. He's like, what are you talking about? I didn't kill my brothers. Eh, he kind of admits later that he did, though. So that one kind of, that theory kind of flies out of the window. So he was so crazy that even faced with the truth, smacking him right in the face, he was still like, nah. I dated a girl one time. The relationship was over with. Decided it was time to end that relationship. I was smart enough to bring her to a restaurant with a lot of people and ended the relationship. That shit kept eating. I said, did you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, we, 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 we have to go our separate ways. She's like, mm hmm So what you want to do tonight? You want to see a movie? And I was like, oh my God. Oh my goodness, she's out of her mind. That relationship was over 
years before I, I could get away from her. She just kept coming around, knocking on the door, you know, showing up. I'd be sitting in a movie theater, watching a the movie in the dark. And I'd feel somebody sitting next to me, and I'd look over, and she's looking at me like, crazy eyes, giving me crazy eyes. She had no concept of reality. That was the penguin. His, everybody in the room said, we know what happened. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You killed your brothers. Wasn't me. He went straight shaggy on them. I saw you. Wasn't me. You, killed, you came home with a flashlight in your pocket. Wasn't me. Your mother knows about it. She's known since you were a little kid. She was going to have you whacked. Never happened. He completely removed himself from reality. The Penguin is insane. All of Batman's villains are insane. <clears throat> it's a running thing. Batman's crazy. So is everybody he fights. They're all insane. Penguin is insane. And that becomes more evident at the end of the show because he gets his mother's body. She, she's in a coma. She's had a stroke. She's aware of what's going on around her, but she can't talk, speak, move. She's a prisoner. She's trapped inside her own mind and body. And she knows it. She's crying. And he's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know you love it. He's got her in front of a giant window so she can see the city. She's crying because she, she don't want to be there. She wants to die. You know, the dude that killed her sons happens to be her son, and he's got her trapped forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. He's got her trapped there, and she's crying, and he looks at her tears and is like, oh, yeah, it's beautiful, right? That dude is far afield. His mind is a bag of cats. So then he takes his girlfriend. This is when you truly know that he's, he's got a weird thing happening with his mom, his mentality of what's happening with his mom. He takes his girlfriend, who he is intimate with, and dresses her up as his mom and tells her to say things to him that his mom would say. Tell me I'm a good boy. Tell me you're proud of me. Tell me you love me. And then he dances with her. Da, 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 da. That dude is gone. It's hard to think that he's a villain when you're watching this. You want to you wanna root for him. And then when you see that last episode, you're like, oh, oh, where, where's, where, where's Batman? We need Batman. They hit him with a battering. You suddenly remember, oh yeah, that dude's a, that dude's a criminal. That dude's insane. That dude, he's, he is a monster. That dude's the worst. Instead of, he gets the gangs to rally around him. Actually, actually, Victor does. Vic gets the gangs to rally up and to give Oz the needed muscle he needs. And he defeats the leaders of the other gangs and puts the seconds in charge of all of the gangs. And so the second in charge is in charge of all the gangs now. And it, it's, 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 kinda, it's kinda cool. Um, so he's in charge of the gangs. And the gangs now run the city and he gets a hold of Sophia and then it looks like he's going to give it a whack but the whole time I'm like nah he probably would have killed her from the beginning but he takes her to this to this lake and he has her standing there and she closes her eyes and prepares to get shot in the back of the head and when she opens her eyes she's surrounded by cops he put that chick back in jail which takes her character and gives her some longevity she, she's still gonna be around. She's in jail. In jail, she finds out that she finds out something that we learned in the movie *The Batman*. Selena Kyle claimed to be the daughter of um, the Falcone family. That dude was horrible too. He was out there sleeping with women, killing women. He was a nut. Apparently, he slept with her mom and probably killed her mom too, Selena Kyle. So Selena Kyle contacts Sophia, and they're probably going to wrench their hands and plot 
against the city. A boy, ha ha. <laughs> Probably. So there's more story to be told with that. He, Vic makes a mistake and tells Oz that they're like family. He tells him that. And you could see it in Oz's face. Because Oz, his mom is, is, is pretty much his prisoner. His brothers, he killed. The, the one guy that he really liked, the one gangster, they say he died of natural causes, but it could be that Oz knew that that dude was going to kill him and killed him himself. Who knows? But that dude's gone. All of Oz's family is essentially dead and most of it because of Oz's hand so when Vic tells him you know you're like you're like family to me he, you see Oz shake his head like oh, why did he say that and he, he gives out the F word he's like Fuh, Fuh. pauses for a second and puts his arm around Vic and chokes him to death and Vic is pleading Oz no please no and he chokes him until he's, you know, gasping for air. And then he goes through his wallet. He takes like his last 11 bucks or whatever it was, just a little bit of money, takes it out, sticks it in his pocket, and then takes his ID, freak, and throws it in the water. Now here's what I'm thinking. He choked out Vic. He, he, he choked him. He grabbed him by his esophagus and just choked him. Was Vic's stutter a physical thing or was it a mental thing? Could he just not force the words out? If that's the case, if Vic's not dead, because I don't think Vic is dead. I think Joker thinks he killed him, but didn't. If Vic isn't dead, that anger and everything, he could overcome that stutter. If it was a physical thing and he was being choked, maybe Oz broke something it stops him from stuttering. Either way, he threw his identity away. So Victor is no longer Victor. He's, he's going to need a new name. I'm thinking Zaz. I'm thinking he needs to hide. It was a prominent thing. He had the little small afro. He's going to cut that off so people don't recognize him. And he's going to be Victor Zaz. That's my, that's my thought. I hear a lot of people saying maybe Victor Freeze, but Victor Freeze is a full-on genius. Vic is, is street smart, but he's not a scientist. So I'm thinking Victor says, and now he has a reason to hate the penguin. So if a serial killer with an aptitude for murder, because you could see it, he was starting to get into it. He jumped on the one guy, the one Falcon dude, and he beat him down. He was scared to fight before. He got that guy Squid, shot him. He apologized, but that didn't keep Squid from getting shot. He was going to shoot more people, too. He cried about it later, but he got over it. That dude is, he's okay with murder. So, those were people who were just in his way. Oz betrayed him and tried to kill him so he could come back as a horror show for Oz and I think this was going to happen but this was a great show this was there's a few shows over the last couple of years that I've looked at and said man that was a good show this ranks in the top two or three of the best shows I've seen in the last couple of years great show great show there's rumors that there's going to be a second season. There needs to be. There needs to be. And it ends with him saying, there's no one that can stop me. And then outside his window, you see the bat signal. And I'm like, oh, oh, there's probably somebody. And he needs to get you now. Stop dancing with your girlfriend, your girlfriend and mother. That's crazy. But I did this show. More importantly, you dig this show? Now you see the video, let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe.
to a show that I would give ten bags of popcorn. Ten bags of popcorn. The show was so good that I'd watch episode one, later I'd watch it again. I'd watch episode two, and then I'd watch one and two again. I'd watch episode three, and I was like, I think I missed something. And I'd watch one, two, and three again. It pulled me in like that. It was good. It was real good. But that's what I think. More importantly, again, what do you think? Now you've seen the video, just talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport. Get your popcorn back.